Ciao ragazzi, welcome to Growing Up with Classic Cars. My name is Talu and I'm passionate about vintage machines. I am very lucky because I'm growing up surrounded by beautiful automobiles and I want to document and share this experience. The car I want to introduce to you today is our Fiat 600D from 1964. We are basically using it as a daily driver for school pickups, to go shopping, it's perfect for the city. You always find a parking space. I'm fascinated by the car's history. The first owner was a lady in Rome. Incredibly, she was born two centuries ago on the 16th of October, 1892. That means when she bought the car, in the spring of 1964, she was 71 years old. According to the Foglio Complementare, the price she paid was 640,000 lire. That is about 6,900 euros today. These were different times. In the Italy of 1964, Professor Aldo Moro was serving his first term as Prime Minister. The Scudetto was won by Bologna and the radio was dominated by Gianni Morandi's hit single, In Ginocchio da Te. Outside of Italy, the Fiat Cinquecento, the younger sister of the Seicento, is maybe the more famous car. But in Italy, the Seicento is on the same level. Infatti, la Seicento è considerata l'icona del boom economico italiano. Oftentimes, people come up to us and they say, that's the car I learned to drive with, or that was my dad's first car. But let's take her for a drive. Venite con me. Andiamo. The Seicento was built from 1955 to 1969. Fiat built around 2.7 million examples and another 2.2 million were built under license in Spain, Germany, Yugoslavia and Argentina. Our car is a Seicento D first series. This series was the first with the enlarged 767cc engine. It's also the last model with suicide doors. The Seicento is a very usable car, even today. Unlike the Cinquecento, the Seicento has a synchro mesh gearbox. The engine produces 31 horsepower that is perfectly enough to keep up with modern city traffic. There is also more space in the cabin. Even our dog waits is a happy passenger. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll be back with another video very soon.